guys it's mary j and i'm back with another video oh my word did i really just yes i did okay pretend that didn't happen guys so today's video is why are they not texting back why they ain't texting back so we have four piles today pile number one says eat well and a whole bunch of stuff about south africa because remember guys south african youtuber so you can read this if you want to but you don't have to pile number two says local hero and it has to do with the dog that was a local hero Number three, you know, this is part of the animals that you can see if you come to Africa, giraffe and dolphin. And number four, we have Durbanville Rose Garden, a beautiful garden, and the number 24. So these are the four piles. Pick which one resonates, and let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention the tarot card readers that I'm going to shout out in today's video. So um, in today's video, we're doing bohemian stars ocean bohemian stars and ocean she's a great youtuber she shouted me out in one of her videos so if you could go send her love that'd be awesome water baby tarot is such a good youtuber i love her she's always giving me insight on like you know what's going on in my life and the empress tarot two 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 so another great youtuber so if you go to them tell them mary j sent you it would mean a lot to me and yeah so we're back with number where are we at us we're still with number one yeah we're still number one we know we just finished number one so now back to pile number two hey guys it's mary j and i'm back with another video and today's video is why they ain't texting back so i just wanted to show you my top quickly it literally says my mom is a drama queen because can i just give a second to shout out my mama who i love dearly because i love your mama but yeah i love my mom i love my mommy and my mom is a drama queen for anyone that knows me my mom is a drama queen but yeah, I just wanted to like show you that. So anyway, let's get back into the video. So today's video is why they ain't texting back. So why ain't your person texting you back? Why did they leave you on red? If the red receipts are on, which mine ain't. So you don't even know if I left you on red or not. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So for pile number one, um, why they ain't texting back. So your song is Romance by Willow Smith. It's a hoax to freak... It's a hoax to trick your mind into thinking perfection exists. Stop reading, stop leading goals to the clouds above. It's so distracting. We can't focus on self-love. Morality doesn't exist. Exists. We create our lives. I just want to know you like how I like. Y'all, I feel like I need to do some talking exercises. <laughs> I want to know you like I know myself. Slowly your eyes connecting with mine so how, why aren't they texting back so it says romance right i feel like they're not texting back because they are still thinking about does this world have any spark of romance in it like i'm getting princess carolyn from bojack horseman if you don't know who she is this is actually a really nice card this is so sweet i feel like they want to text you back they want to text you back they are literally they're going to text you back you have the wait for me card so they are gonna text you back i'm pretty sure they're gonna text you back like you just need to be, you need to wait you also have the snail card so you know that means a journey like literally you just have to wait a bit um this is admirable admirable qualities of the person you really likes you and they think you have a great you have a lot of qualities that they like about you and they like i feel like they've been thinking a lot about the last message you sent them and they're probably just trying to see like how can i reply to this like what do i say and they're trying to like not overthink it and also they want to blend and adapt in the situation i feel like they want to like go with your speed and go yeah they want to go your speed so if you've been like you know sending them one word replies and they're just gonna like be taking it like that but if you've been sending them paragraphs and they're gonna send paragraphs back because wait <laughs> thank you uh <laughs> no one said bless you but yeah let me just quickly blow my nose and everybody's like mm, mm, mm. sorry so yeah they are trying to go with how you are basically like what you give out is what you get so yeah and they're trying to be gentle and quiet with the situation and i feel like they're trying to remind you that you need to be kind for yourself you know self-love comes first like the says in the song so i feel like also like i say with princess carolyn she um is like a really she's a great person so like i feel like you could be an aries a leo or a sagittarius you also could be a capricorn could be a scorpio pisces cancer um, um but like leo sag capricorn yeah aquarius aquarius but yeah so only oh, your name could start with an r an h a w an s or a d or an f 
with a K. So why they ain't texting back? They ain't texting back because I feel like they're trying to focus on themselves. And uh, like I said with Princess Carolyn, I got off, I got sidetracked. So she fell for Bojack Horseman, right? But then she allowed herself to fall for him. And then she was like, okay, so you got... So what did you say? So you fell in love a bit last night, right? And then you got your feelings hurt. Serves you right for having feelings. And I feel like that's them for some reason or that's their mentality. Um, when it comes to romance and texting people back. So maybe a person isn't even that big of a text, so they don't even like it that much. And they like to focus on themselves a lot. And they might be thinking that you need to lower your expectations a bit also. But, I mean, this is just the song. And um, it's so distracting. I feel like they also have a lot of distractions. They're probably just working really hard. And they are busy thinking about, like, you know, much bigger issues and, like, texting you back right now. And I want to know you like I know. I want to know you like I know myself. So they are trying to get to know you right now. Maybe they're just busy observing you. And they like how you guys connect when you guys look at each other and you guys make that eye contact. So, yeah, it's like you guys are, like, really, like, connecting with each other. And you guys are, like, so cute. Like, if you look at these two ducks over here, like, I think it's adorable how the one person's in front of the other blushing and the other one's just, like, following them following them with like all wide eyes like i wonder where we're going and it's like yeah you guys are so cute with the ace of diamonds um this has to do with money and pentacles and the earth and the east and autumn and your body um so the eight i mean the ace of diamonds also has to do with a desire for money so maybe they've been working really hard or they've just been craving a lot of money and like they've been working hard in their business and this is also a message being coming through for union so they're probably gonna ask you like hey can we hang out sometime and this is like partnership and maybe they're even gonna ask you if you can like help them or something or they're gonna use something like that like an open liner you also have the card that says i love you so they love you and i feel like they do want to talk to you they do want to text you definitely and they just um, are taking their time right now and they're busy worrying about other things and yeah they just got a bit distracted so you also have the card that says i'm sorry so they want to apologize for something maybe they're i feel like they could be writing out their apology letter right now they're busy just like saying okay what's the, what is the, perf the perfect thing to say right now but then they realize perfect doesn't even exist and then they go down that whole entire spiral about like what can i say and then they just end up like not even pressing send or maybe they typed they probably typed the message but they didn't press send and like there's a whole bunch of excuses that i could say for why they aren't texting you back but they haven't texted you back because they just haven't they just haven't done it i feel like your person could be a bit lazy also and like really charming and sly and reserved and um this person doesn't like to work a lot but that's just like the spirit and everything so like maybe on the inside they're super like lazy and just like bored and like oh i just forgot to text you back babe like i'll text you back now like that type of thing but on the in on the outside they're like they aren't like that also um so yeah your person's probably really good looking or you're really good looking and they see you as the queen of diamonds which is a really nice card as we know because she's just seen as someone that's like you know really beautiful someone that is all rounded someone that um just is always offering people like a lot and of always like going the extra mile for people someone that has good judgment someone that likes to like talk and socialize on their phone so maybe you like to text them a lot and you like to send them memes and gifts and stuff and they really appreciate those little messages that you give them and they see you as someone that's a bit gossipy and flirty and they like flirting with you and they see you as like sophisticated and like you just have a lot going on right now like they have a lot going on you have a lot going on um but yeah like i feel like you guys aren't on the same page maybe right now with the nine of diamonds i feel like that is like attracting abundance in your life and attracting a lot of things so that is material and financial gain so i feel like they are busy stocking up on a lot of things they could just be shopping a lot right now or they're busy like i said working or they're busy with other things and it could be family matters could be but just like a lot of things right now that they're busy attracting right now so maybe they're just like taking a moment back to self-reflect and trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff and they're gonna take their time like i said then you have the three of spades so this is this can mean loss and three usually isn't seen as a really good card 
um, but like it's usually someone having a lot of strength also and the three of spades is a warrior so this person could be worrying about you worrying about themselves worrying about something else in their life right now and going through stress and physical stress and having a maybe they're having like a bit of creativity stress and in their work they're having like writer's block or they just like feel a bit stuck right now and they're being careful about how they communicate with you because maybe i feel like they see this as like a delicate situation and now they just don't want to like say the wrong thing also with the eight of clubs that's an offer that's um a change in jobs so maybe they're busy changing jobs or they could be moving or like something drastic is happening in their life right now so um like yeah there's just like a lot going on in their life right now so they can't text you back right now and this is improvement in health, so they could just be getting over a cold or they're busy trying to do self-love and self-improvement right now. And um, this also means mental health needing attention, so that is another reason why they're not texting you back. I feel like they are trying to balance out their emotions and balance out who they are as a person. Because we see when you have these two cards, it's like a dolphin and a shark. So obviously those two animals are really like contradicting and not the same because a shark actually can like, you know, eat people where dolphins are more um, friendly, seen as friendly. So yeah, I feel like they are busy trying to like not bite your head off right now because see now you're on your period. Like, you know, girls, you know what I mean. If you're on your period, you know that like you probably shouldn't make any like big decisions when you're on your period. Like I read that. Then I read that they, they said that in a movie, ask me anything, you should watch it. It's a really good movie. I mean, I liked it, but it's a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice movie. So yeah, like they're just trying not to be hasty now. They're trying to take their time. They don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, I feel like they feel like even if they didn't text you back, you know that I still love you. You know I still want to be with you. You know that we still vibe and we still we still together. And yeah, like they want to come off like more tender and they want to come off more loving also. And I feel like they are yeah, like they want to come off more loving and tender and sweet and um oh my word. Anyway, so yeah, I feel like they're just taking it one step at a time right now and like I said, they really like looking in your eyes. They love looking in your eyes because if you look at this, they like looking in each other's eyes. So they really like it and they like it when they get to hold you and you like you guys are walking arm in arm together or when you put the, your hand on their knee or your hand on their arm. Like they really like that. It's kind of like they feel that like zap of energy basically. Or like they feel like a, a bunch of like, just like a zoof. You know, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Like, they just feel like, yeah, like they just, like, feel that. Like, the, that spark, I guess. So, they also could be working really hard in school right now because you have these, like, a bunch of stickers with, like, A+, plus, keep it neat, and win. So, they could be in a competition right now or there is a competition in with trying to get you as well. And I feel like they just have a few things that they have to do right now. Like, they have to take care of, have to take care of business. Oh, they have to take care of business so yeah and i feel like they are just trying to manifest and trying to attract better things and they want to bring the better things to you because i feel like they just want to come with something like they don't want to come empty-handed as well mm -hmm. but they don't want to like make you uh they want to send you like the wrong idea or give you the wrong impression also and i don't know but i'm getting a bit of fake energy also maybe there's someone fake in your life or like someone like being not genuine as well and someone giving you like a fake smile and like greeting you like in a weird way and you could have long hair like long brown hair with like nice curls as well and a jacket that has flowers on it or you like wearing things with flowers or like grandma prints in a way or like things that are seen like where elderly would usually wear it like maybe cardigans and things like that um it could be like the color purple or orange or pink and yeah i feel like they also could be avoiding you maybe just to like teach you a little bit of a lesson just be like hmm you know i can still ignore you i could i could still take you back whenever i want just because they can and yeah that is what i got for pile number one i really hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one so with pile number two um why they ain't texting back so your song is looking at me by sabrina carpenter did i catch your attention don't don't you come at me green with an attitude when my lips and my souls are red because i've been here once or twice if you think they're looking at you they're looking at me i'ma take the lead 
so they're taking the lead right now i feel like they're not texting you back because they're trying to show you who's in control of the relationship right now <laughs> they're trying to tell you who's in control in the relationship but I, I think they are going to text you back soon though because okay wow you have the death card so you also have the yes card so yeah if, you, if you've been asking any questions the answer is yes sorry about the dogs that are barking in the background but yeah anyway so why they are not texting you back right now did i catch your attention so they're not texting you back because they're trying to see did, did you see I, did i get your attention because if i didn't then there we go like they're literally trying to see if i can catch your attention right now they're trying to so they're probably like not texting you back they're busy posting um pictures on instagram they're busy doing everything but living their life but they're just not texting you back right now because they're trying to see did i catch did i catch your attention like who do you think's in control you even though you know a, la a relationship should definitely be equal your relationship should be equal but yeah so don't come in with green so i feel like that's like you know envy so they could be feeling a bit of envy also and an attitude on my love so they could be just trying to like show off right now and um i feel like they're having a bit of attitude right now and they're trying to show you like i am a fiery person right now like don't try and miss me like i feel like your person could be a Cancer, scorpio pisces it could be a libra gemini or aquarius i'm also getting some taurus like some earth energy as well but like fire also maybe a fire rising if you think they're looking at you, they're looking at me. I feel like they're trying to be like, did I leave you on red or did you leave me on red? Like, you guys are both going back and forth all the time on who leaves each other on red. And um, it's like, they're looking at me. So, like, they're just trying, they left you on red on purpose. That's what I have to say, I feel like. And you have the death card. So, I feel like that is a transformation. That is a change. So I feel like this person is changing. Um... This person is definitely changing. I don't know. They, they are changing. They are changing. Times are changing. This person is changing as well. So the death card is a transforming card. So your person is different. Like I said, how many times did I say changing? But your person is changing. Like if you think you knew who they were, here's the death card. That is like a death to your old person and a new person coming. Like, yeah. So this is like an end to conflict resolution. Maybe you guys have been arguing a lot and this is just like the end of that and it's moving forward and like making a lot of change. And the master card. So this is someone being in control. And like I said, you have the yes card. And then you also have, it says don't go. So maybe someone is trying to end the relationship. And then also you have this card which has the cell phone and that's electronic messaging. So I feel like you guys have been going back and forth and always talking and always messaging each other saying, Hey baby, I miss you. Like what's up? And just always getting those good morning messages, those good night messages and everything. And it's really sweet and stuff like that. So that could be one side, but I don't know, it could be from both energies. And then someone saying don't go. So this could be you and this all could be them. So I feel like one person doesn't want the other person to leave. And I feel like this person could be maybe even a bit heartbroken because it says broken heart. So maybe something happened. It could have been a death in the family or just like they're going through a lot right now and that's why they haven't texted you. So they're looking at themselves right now. They're like, did I catch your attention? Like, um, who did you think was running the show? Like, it's me. And with the broken heart, like this could just be their way of expressing their pain and expressing their feelings towards you so with this card that's like they see you as an adult or they think you guys are like really mature and stuff like that and they enjoy what they're doing i feel like they're enjoying not texting you back like they're having a good time and this person could be really feminine and they could just be going into adulthood maybe they got their first job or they got their first something like their first i don't know but they find you really attractive and they are attracted to your lips they are attracted to um yeah they're, they're attracted to your lips definitely and your hair you could have short hair yeah and it could be cut in layers or like you have like i feel like you have like you have short hair and they really like it um you also could have like a shocking hair color like maybe green hair or brown not brown brown <laughs> like green or blue or purple or i don't know like you just like dyed your hair like a shocking color or you have like yeah but yeah then with the six of us that is the peacemaker so i feel like they're trying not to have any they're not they're not trying to um cause a fight or anything so they're just like trying to like bring peace into the situation trying to know trying to compromise trying to see what would be best for both of you guys like what would be beneficial and like trying not to lose some not to like you know they say you win some you lose up you lose some but they're trying not to win they're trying not to lose they're trying to just be balanced they're just trying to like not lose or not win anything so you guys are both just like stuck and you guys are like being a bit uncomfortable like if you see miley with the hand in a pocket she's just like Ugh. like i don't know how i feel about this like this doesn't feel so good and someone being like really awkward so the person could be a virgo capricorn or a taurus 
but still smiling through it i feel like you could also have oily skin for some reason i don't know why but like i'm getting that and i feel like your person's a bit lost and they're just like lost for words actually sorry my brother so also this is the watch so i feel like this is like a time period a time period i feel like they are just waiting for the right time to come forward and message you um this could be a time sensitive relationship as well and um yeah i feel like they're just looking at the time i feel like your, your person could be the type of person where it's like i send you a message let me wait four hours to text you back or something like that because you know that still happens and then with the lost in translation card i feel like they um are just like getting lost in the idea of you and them together maybe and now like it's kind of like blurry lines and now they don't know where you guys start and where you guys ended and everything so they're just like a bit confused with that also and then with the seven of space there's difficulty moving on so they can't move on from you exactly um but yeah i feel like they want to ask you a question as well then with the five of clubs that's the satisfaction and jealousy so they could also be feeling a bit of jealousy right now and they feel a bit dissatisfied with the relationship and i feel like they're just trying to get into like a zen mood and they're feeling super like they're just trying to like be happy right now like i feel like they're just like smiling like living their best life living it up like this song living it up by i don't know who sings it but yeah and then you have the ten of spades so that's fear of failure and secrets so i feel like this person could be keeping a secret from you and maybe they fear losing you as well that is also probably why they're not texting you so your numbers are two two eight eight and nine 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 so your person's name could start with a B, a K, or a T, as well as an H, a Q, a Z, or an I, or an R. Um, I feel like they are thinking a lot about the emotions right now. They could be really caring, so they could be a Cancer. They could be also a Scorpio and a bit materialistic. Or this is like a calm situation, so they could be a Pisces. Um, they are not texting you back also i feel like they have a huge imagination right now and maybe they imagine that they text you back but it's like fam they didn't and i feel like the person could be really sensitive right now and they could be dreaming about you um they are looking at their unconscious mind okay and their birthday could be the 8th the 17th or the 26th and i feel like they are waiting for you like i said and they show like they have a lot of other responsibilities that they have to do right now and it also says anti-ego but i feel like this is someone that's like but okay so anti-ego apparently and this is being caught of gods so maybe they felt like they were being caught of gods so and now they just don't know how to react to it and this person doesn't like to play games as well and someone that like has a childlike quality as well and appears vain and someone that's extravagant and very generous to others so that is what i got for pile number two i really hope the video resonated don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one hey guys it's jim and i'm back with another one and today is today's video is why they ain't texting back so for pile number three your song is royals by lord i've never seen a diamond i was thinking i've never seen a diamond in the flesh i got my teeth on wedding rings in the movies okay anyway no passcode envy we crave a different type of buzz let me be your ruler let me live in that fantasy jet plane islands tigers on a gold leash got my god up. got caught got caught up in your love affair got caught up in your love affair so why they ain't text them back so i feel like they're not texting you back because of how it looks it is what it looks like you know when they say it's not what it looks like it is what it looks like it is exactly what it looks like so your person has a reason why they aren't texting you back like i feel like this is actually a valid reason for the number three like i think it's actually a valid reason why they aren't texting you back so it says um i hope you don't hurt me so i feel like they feel like someone is gonna say something and it's gonna be something bad they feel like someone's gonna say something and it's bad or you said something bad to them. Well, not bad, but I feel like you said something that upset them, maybe. Or something that just, like, came off and I was kind of like, mm, like, I don't know, why, why'd you say that? Um, i never seen a diamond in the flesh. So they see you as someone that's really attractive. So I'm like, yeah, they see you as someone that's super, super attractive. Like, super duper, duper attractive. Sorry, I should, like, sit this side closer to the 
uh, oh my word, I didn't lock the exposure. Okay, yeah. So, um, I never seen a diamond in the flesh. So, you know, like if you see a diamond, like that's someone, oh, my baby. I don't know what she's busy doing right now. Baby! Uh uh. So, yeah, I feel like they're not even jealous for some reason. Not for some reason, you shouldn't be. Baby! No! She's trying to eat something. No. So, yeah, it says no postcode envy. I feel like they're not. I was going to say that this person is like, it's because of their ego, but I feel like it's not even about that because it says no postcode envy. We're just on a different type of buzz. So, I feel like they're not texting you because they're just like not feeling it right now. They're just on like on a different buzz right now. They're on a different buzz. Like, I feel like your person is super earthy. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Pisces. Scorpio definitely could be um yeah those are the signs I'm getting could even be an Aries but not really I'm not thinking and Aries usually they, they like to reply to messages but actually no they leave people on okay yeah they could be an Aries so yeah we could have a different type of buzz so I feel like you guys are just like always missing each other like maybe they've tried to text you and then you don't reply they text you then you don't reply and they may be your ruler. So I feel like they are trying to, they're not texting you back because they want to try and like bring balance. Oh, wait. Guys, I'm super sorry about the change in quality, the drop in quality. But I just had to quickly finish pile 3 and pile 4. So like I said, why they ain't texting back. So it says, I will wait for you. So I feel like they're waiting for you to text them back actually. Um, I think it's the other way around. And I feel like they're just scared about what you're going to say. So yeah. We create a different type of buzz. They may be your ruler. So they just want to like try take control of the situation again. Or they want you to take control of the situation. They want you to come make it better. Like Kiss a Better Baby by Britney Spears. Um, they may live in a fantasy. Maybe you are living in a fantasy. Or they just want to get on your level. Because you guys are on different like buzzes. Different like wavelengths right now. And they aren't about it. They do not like it. So they're just like let me live in that fantasy. Let me get on the same buzz as you. Let me get on the same vibe as you. So J Plains Islands. So this person also, this could be a long distance relationship where you guys are trying to make it work right now. And maybe, I feel like they feel like they have you on a leash right now, but like, it shouldn't be where you guys are on a leash. You guys should like, you know, be free to do whatever you want. Like you can text whatever you want, you can text back whenever you want. Like, you know, like that type of thing. And then it says caught up in your love affair. So this could be a third party situation or it's just like someone having like a whole like idea about what you guys are. And I feel like, the perception and the idea of what you guys are like it's just wrong but like i don't know same person could be a cancer pisces or scorpio um i feel like they feel like you guys are like good though like you guys are still like connected you guys are still going at it trying to make things work like i said there could be a bit of like awkwardness where you guys like run out of things to say also they find you super attractive like i said and you have the devil card, so they find you really, really sexy. So that's like attractive and sexy together. So they like your body. They like um, looking at you. They like admiring you. They like looking at your pictures. Could be a bit of a stalker vibe, but like not stalker, stalker. Just like they watch you a lot also. They feel like you have a lot of willpower. And maybe it's taking a lot of willpower on their part not to text you back. Like they probably, maybe they made a promise for themselves to be like, you know what? I'm not going to text him back for this certain period of time. And I'm going to stick with it. And yeah, they see you as someone that's super cute also. And they're really curious about who you are and where this is going. You also have the I need you card. So they feel like they need you. And they really probably don't like that they aren't texting you back right now. Um, I feel like they're listening to music right now. And there could be other reasons why they aren't texting you. Such as like, I don't know, like it could be videos. It could be they like their friends busy coming in and saying like their two cents about how they feel about you and so and so so that also could be a reason why they're not texting you back and um they also could be busy with work and then with the eight of spades that is again strength so i feel like it's taking a lot of strength on their part and a lot of um like holding back and a lot of like containing themselves and just like restricting themselves basically also then with the three of clubs that is another fighter so you guys could be arguing right now and um 
I feel like they want to come up with like um, a nice text message because you know like when someone says what hard and that type of stuff it's kind of like really like you're gonna say that now but now they want to have something that's different where it's kind of like hey so I heard you were I, I, I mean I can't think of anything creative right now I mean that's also why they haven't text back because they're trying to think of something that's not gonna be like out of the ordinary like some people like if you know you can text someone every day but you don't have to because I mean like what's changed between today and tomorrow like go to school, come home, go to school, come home. So they probably just want to text you back when they, they want to text you back when something exciting happens. So yeah, awesome. Five of diamonds, that's the exchange and a new way of doing things. And I feel like they're also trying to be more cautious about this situation and with this connection. And six of spades, they want to have a difficult conversation with you. So I feel like they want to say something to you, also get something off their chest. And this is um, communication problems as well. A clean break and letting go. And then you have the nine of clubs, which is emotional experience. So this person has been through a lot. So there are no strangers when it comes to this. And I feel like they feel like you're turning into a stranger maybe also. And this is just like a journey that you guys are going on. And they're going on like a journey by themselves also with like the emotions and everything. So that is what i got for pile number three i really hope the video resonated don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one hey guys it's mary jan i'm back with another video and today's video is um why they ain't texting back so for pile number four why they ain't texting back your song is paper rings by taylor swift the moon is high like your friends were the night that we first met we weren't home and tried to stalk you on the internet the wine is cold. Like the shoulder that I gave you in the street, cat and mouse for a month or two or three. Now I wake up in the night and watch you breathe. Now this is creepy. Pile for, okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it's creepy, but. But I'm getting that guy, Fred, he made a song with like, that would be creepy. I don't know. So your person could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, as well as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Let's just get into it. So why are they aren't texting back? I feel like they are not texting back, but it's temporary. I feel like, maybe they feel like you are temporary also. I feel like they, your person could be really dominating. You have two kings. So those are two major arcana cards. So, um, yeah. This is coming at something full force, so it's kind of like you can't take someone back. I feel like they, they, it's weird that they haven't texted you back, actually. I feel like they probably want to. I feel like they're going to text you back. Um, they're probably going to text you back. But I mean, they, if they don't, then I know why. Because, okay, well, though, we're making this video about why they don't text you back. Um, sorry. King of Clouds. This is knowledge, progress, love, and unity. So I feel like this is coming at full force, and... They just want to, they want to text you. They do want to text you, right? They do want to text you. And also with the king of um, diamonds that is an entrepreneur, someone that's really smart and someone that is business smart. So I feel like this person is really smart and tactical. So they do not text you back because for a reason, like they have a reason why. And it's their own reason. Like it's not because of what you think. Like I feel that it's something personal, something that like their weird way of looking at the situation not weird way but they way of looking at the situation so the moon is high so they could be waiting until night to text you like maybe it could be a booty call or something like that but yeah so the moon is high or your moon sign is really prevalent and you should look at their moon sign and see like what that says about their personality for like me i'm a libra moon so yeah take what resonates leave what doesn't they could i feel like the, your person is like um a cancer or scorpio or a pisces moon for some reason yeah, I feel like, or like a Taurus, yeah, like a Taurus, Taurus moon or something. But yeah, like your friends were the night that we met, so they could be just high, so that's why they didn't text you back, like, they're just high. <clears throat> we weren't home, so I feel like your person also could just be really busy right now, like, their phone died, um, yeah, their phone died, like, you know that excuse where it's kind of like, it sounds like, like, it sounds like so stupid, but it probably is possible, um, the wine is cold. So like I said, they could be drinking, they could be smoking, and that's why they haven't texted you back. And I feel like they're just going through the emotions right now. Like they need a shoulder to cry on, but they don't even know what to say to you right now. So they're busy talking to their other friends. 
yeah, they're talking to the other friends right now instead of you. And you guys are basically playing a cat and mouse game for a month or two or three. And now it's kind of like when you do, I, I feel like the person it might be obsessed with you and they really like you a lot. I feel like your person likes you a lot. And you have the do you like me card so the person doesn't know how you feel about them. But I feel like you guys both do like each other a lot. Like with the two kings over here. And then it's like, I feel like they like to watch you a lot. And they like to dream about, or like they like to think about what you guys are going to be. And the potential that you guys have more so. And like maybe they, they think about the future more than they think about you presently. So I feel like they kind of overlook you in a way. Like, they probably just, like, they were going through their phone, checking about who they want to text, and then, like, they just went past your name by accident. And, yeah. <clears throat> like, by accident. And also, you have the false partner in a comic situation. So, this could be a false partner or a comic situation. Um, with the three of hearts, that is the player card and making decisions when it comes to the heart. So, your person, this is also love affairs and um, obsessive behavior. With the four of clubs, this is mind and balance. I feel like they're trying to balance everything out. They're trying to reply to all of the messages. They probably have a lot of messages on their phone. So they just like haven't gone into yours yet. And this is someone being impulsive and unexpected events happening. So there was this probably like a spur of the moment type thing. Maybe they got a new phone or um, like they were about to text you and then something just happened. Something drastic, something crazy, something where like you wouldn't even believe it. But yeah. And I feel like they want to have a deep conversation with you also and like just like tell you what's been going on in their mind. With the six of clubs, this is the prophet and this is relationships. And I feel like they feel like you guys have a great connection. You guys are really like you guys are always just like understanding each other and you guys have a nice friendship, a nice bond together. And they're really happy with you and with you guys together. And this is good finances and getting things done. So I feel like they definitely have you on the list. Like people I need to text back Mary J. Like it's literally there. Not that anybody left me on red, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, 10 of clubs, this is change and travel. So they could also be changing. They could just be like they're changing their clothes right now or they're busy traveling somewhere else. So their phone's on airplane mode and that's why they didn't text you back. Then with the seven of clubs, this is someone working really hard and making decisions as well and having like struggling to make decisions. Or, so maybe they have to text you, but they have to text their ex. It could be an ex. Or it could be just like another potential lover as well. Or just like their friends as well. So like other people that they have to text also. So, you know, like when you're on a video call with someone, you can't send, like, you, it's hard to talk to other people if you're on a video call because, I mean, I don't know, for me, like, I, I like to be on the video call. Like, I'll stay there and I don't go and text and everything. But that's just me. So I feel like your person could be like that. Also, there could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or uh, Aries like Sagittarius or Capricorn and I feel like they talk about you a lot I feel like they talk to their friends a lot about you and to their family a lot about you and they just want to open up to you more like I said they really like the connection and they like looking in your eyes you could have red hair or blonde hair or like brown hair with blonde streaks or you have like streaks in your hair and they like eating out with you also and they're probably just like eating popcorn right now or like they're eating food or they're busy eating a lot of food sorry about that but yeah so they like also your fashion style like i have to say that like i feel like they, they do want to text you back like it's on there to do this your person could also be an aquarius gemini or uh i already said that but yeah they could i feel like they're super curious about you and they just want to know more about you they see you as the empress which is someone really beautiful that is also like someone that is single or like someone that's like a bachelorette in a way the empress birthing abundance so they feel like this is like the start of something new feels so right to be here with you so yeah like i feel like they smile every time they get a message from you like they literally like they can't help it but they just help they can't help but smile so yeah they are gonna take you back i feel like but it's just a matter of when and why why are they texting you but yeah so that is what i got for pile number four i really hope the video resonated don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye